Good morning, this is Burn Wright, and welcome to a new series of Cosmonautica. So, I've seen this game a little bit around. I haven't played it before, and I just got it. This is an early access, like almost all games are nowadays. But this is a little kind of a spaceship trading management sim combat spaceship game. So we're just going to go ahead and start a new game, and we'll check for achievements and things like that. I don't think you guys can see my... Uh, my steam overlay the way I'm recording. Let's see here. Start. Oh, there we go. It didn't work before. So, create a new game. And we're just going to walk through it. Dive deeper in the intergalactic adventure and save the galaxy once again. So, we're going intergalactic between galaxies to save the galaxy. So, I hope we have some good engines for that. So, and then there's a sandbox. So, let's just do the campaign. And it'll be a good, you know, allow us to finish somewhere. So the tip of the cycle. Crew members with a higher skill are more efficient. And their needs increase less during work shifts. So that's nice. They get less tired, basically. So we're just going to walk through the whole tutorial and everything. Uh, because I haven't played this game before. And in case anyone's interested in seeing the tutorial or how it works. So that's probably going to be most of the first episode is just getting set up and figuring out what's going on in Cosmonautica. So this is your robo bird, apparently, staring at you. Hey, hello you there. Hello, consider waking up if you don't mind. Ra, that's your reply. Ra. <laughs> Finally, thank code, almost a human being again. Welcome back to life. Can you remember anything? Nah. It says you've enlisted on board only a few days ago. I'm not sure about your function though. But I'm sad to say you chose a bad time to work here. Karma on board has been weak recently. What happened? People acting weirdly or simply dying, for instance, happened to your predecessor, poor guy. That's great. <laughs> so did he just pick me because everyone else died and said, you need to run this ship now? Is there a curse? Either that or an avidly accumulated amount of incompetence, which I prefer to believe. That sounds good. And you are... This is N1L, the board AI, called Nil. So after our last mission failed so badly that even I could feel the misery, the crew was furious. Uh huh. Quite unpleasant. I could only secure an engine and cockpit, and the rest got wasted. <laughs> Including the crew, I guess. Except for me. So the captain, last time saw him, he was being chased down the docks by the furious crew. I think he's at a better place now, one way or another. Oh, I guess they got off the ship. What about me? Well, you chose to celebrate your first failed mission on your own with gambling and alcohol. Your memory loss is no surprise. You didn't just drink, you flooded your brain. Poor gray matter. At least you were successful in gambling, and you won something. A peculiar metal box. It's locked tight and sealed. No clues as to what it contains. Dang. Don't worry. We just need to find someone to open it. Who knows, maybe there's a rare artifact inside. We? I say. Sure, because I declare you the new captain of this vessel. I mean, things can only get better for both of us, right? The ship's abandoned, and not too bad. There's some money left, and we have the container. <laughs> so the ship's AI has gotten so desperate, he took a drunk unconscious crew member that happened to be left behind and has declared me captain. Well, there are worse ways to get started, I guess. So, should you have a better plan, let me know. I sure don't. I thought so. Hicks. I guess a hicks up and a mechanical hiccup. Well then, don't worry, I'll help you. And trying out new things can be fun, right, my captain? Oh, word. This is some excellent, uh... Take your time to learn things from the Cosmo Guide. We need to slowly build up a crew and ship first. I see. Hire a pilot and install some rooms. Choices are limited, as is our money. By the way, you can check your current mission objectives via my node interface. It is good to know. The Cosmo Guide. Welcome to the Cosmo Guide. So you can use option menus to reset or activate this guide. Different sections of the station here are these buttons. So here we ship. Let's look at the node real quick. Node is Nils organization and data environment provide various information about ship and crew. Amongst useful information on crew members, you can choose to fire 
or to promote them here. That's nice. If two crew members don't get along, the morale will decrease with time and they need to socialize. To improve relationships, select a suitable room, a kitchen, a TV, or party room, and assign it to crew members. Assign it to crew members to socialize in. So hang on, so I have none of this. I have no tasks or crew. I've got some finances. Balances and loans. Get an overview. So balances, loans. I guess we can take out a loan. I guess I don't have the securities needed. I, my ship's not worth enough to take out a loan from Sharky and Sons. But just the guys with the bats that'll break your knees if you don't pay them back. That's 5000 So money, income, expense. So there's nothing really going on over here yet. Research. Can I have a science lab on board to do research? You can unlock the solar rim to gain full access to any planet within the system. You can only research a new sector adjacent to the already researched one. So galaxy research. So we travel throughout the solar systems and galaxies. So I guess the research is like you unlock solar systems and galaxies. So I wonder if you have to unlock new solar systems when you travel around the galaxy. So you can research combinations of technologies. That's interesting. Durations, low, basic, advanced, and high tech. Yellow to green. So we have inner ring. We have that, I guess. Research not possible. because I, All I have is a broken ship. Because you have a science room and or a scientist working. So I don't have a science room. So I have a galaxy. So I can only see these around me. And rooms and facilities. Well, that's interesting. Camouflage and double hull. Holotron, a projection dice. Projection device for fully animated 4D contents. Interesting. Cast a dense energy web to support physical movement. So, Vault 6 cargo hold. So, I guess this upgrades your cargo hold. And then there's some things that it unlocks out of it. Creates custom scan, decreases custom scan efficiency, increases durability of this room. Yeah, so that's for this room. So we have our snack box, we have our cabin, so we can make it quieter so sleep is more efficient. Same thing for the quad cabin. And our, our, fire, our fire and forget, that's the name of the toilet, outstanding. Flushomatic, so it just makes it more efficient. And, and you can satisfy the entertainment need while in the bathroom with free Wi Fi. The gym looks like we can't do that yet, so we need duraplating, hydraulix, and force grid. Okay, so I get that. So that's so you research these things that look like periodic table stuff, and they improve rooms and also unlock other rooms and stuff like that. The yellow being the easiest and the green being the most. So there's the bridge. I can improve my bridge and increase my combat agility. That would be outstanding. I can't do any research now though, but it's all I just need to look at look at. Little passenger cabin, hitch right to cabin 42. Which what does this give me? It satisfies the passenger's food needs and decreases their toilet toilet distractor. So we have missions. So this is a mission detailed sections. And this is our mission. Hire a pilot, install a cabin, toilet, and snack bay, and cargo hold. And this is our sealed container. So we need pilot, cabin, toilet, snack bay. Overview. Stop here to get various information about your ship's weapons. So ship through Thunaman. Hull is good, pilot skills, nothing, nothing's going on. Car no cargo, no weapons. Cool. No messages. Very neat. So that's the node. That's everything in the node. There was just stuff sitting by the dock here. You can zoom way in. There's our engine. There's our crazy parrot. A little piratey action there. So let us get a pilot. A wait, what does it say again? Let me write this down. A pilot, cabin, toilet, snack bay, and cargo hold. 
So, well, that's gonna work out. So, what do we have over here? This is our uh, auto save. Whenever you arrive or leave the station. So, I'm in the station now, I guess. One of the oldest members of the religious convent live on Hunimir. Their philosophy of life is Hakuna Matata. It means no worries for the rest of your days. So, this station has shipyard. Looks like they import iron and tools. So I guess each station has these, uh, what is it called, like a section? And having a shipyard on a station means you import iron and tools. Having a high population means you export waste and you import water, energy, and medicine. Paper production, you export paper obviously, and import water and wood. Although why you'd create paper on a space station, you know. So Zongra Druids, Zongra Druids. And we've got all these little animations, little cleaner robot, people walking around station, it's cool. Job agent, we have 20,000 credits. 20,000 Dogecoin, the merchant. Prices vary according to amount in stock and whether it's station imports or exports. Good. So they import these, so I don't wanna buy this stuff here. There's Bob, our, our merchant. Merchant of the month. Maybe he's the only employee, so he's the merchant of every month. So I'm not going to buy anything right now. I need to outfit my ship. So here we are in the shipyard. Purchase, maintain, and customize your ship. Keep in mind that only certain stations have a shipyard. That is good to know because maybe you need it for uh, repairs and stuff. Rooms are central element. Basic installments are available from the start. Others have to be researched as we were looking at. Install rooms that satisfy your crew's need and enable them to perform various working tasks. An inexperienced crew requires at least a cabin, toilet, and snack bay to feel comfortable. So yeah, that's what we're getting. And in the beginning, a cargo room enables you to earn money by trading or taking on simple delivery missions. There are other ship classes available, which is nice. Sturdy freighters, fast cruisers, and fierce raiders. So I can go hijack people. So our ship's in good good condition. I don't need to repair the hull or any rooms or clean anything. I guess you need to clean your ship. Um, so we need to add these. So we have living facilities. So this is our stuff. So we need a cabin. 1700. Okay, we have 20,000, so that's not too bad. So where do we want to put this? Um, not by the engine. Well, we could put it here. Well, now let's put it down here. So you can change and optimize. So all ammo duplicates should be close to weapon rooms. That makes sense. You can move it around. Check it out before we install. I don't know how much it costs to move after you install. So I'm just trying to think of where I would want stuff. Before. So we have our room. And we need a bathroom and a snack room. And the room doesn't want to be disturbed. So let's go down here. So we'll install that there. I don't know if that matters. It's a disturbable place, like if you're next to the engine. So cool, we have a cabin uh, by a toilet. And we can put that back here, I guess? Right under the engine? Why not? That's only 1100 and our snack box. So let's put that right up here next to the uh, the pilots. So that's something we're gonna wanna have. Easy access to, so facilities. So cargo hold, they said get that too. Science lab. Um, a cabin for two, we can take passengers. I don't know if I wanna do that yet, because passengers are probably a little more complex to deal with. I'd rather just transport carbon or cargo right now. A fixing bot, that's cool. A cleaning bot. And a hack center, so we can smuggle illegal goods. That's pretty cool. Or no, wait. Smuggle your shots past enemy shields. Oh, you can hack into shields. Okay, I guess the game has shields too. And smuggle illegal goods. That's really neat. A med bay, useful. Painkiller vending machine. <laughs> like the ones Max used to drop. Maybe a joke, maybe a real reference. So we have the cabin for six. So these are not researched. 
Um, I'm not gonna get a cabin. Science lab would be nice. Is that locked? Improves tech research speed. Unlocks all rings and research system. Systems. So this requires two room slots. Okay, that's neat. So let us buy. I don't know if I want this yet, but let us just buy some cargo holds. And then. We get three. 3,600, I have some money. Recreation, can't get any of that yet. Weapons, we can buy weapons. How much money do we have? So this will be, so for depot and weapons. 1250, so this is gonna be about 4,000 plus ammo. Torpedoes, that's cool. So what weapons are available? Twitch fire turret, and we don't have a torpedo bay. We need to research that. So I think I am gonna get a research. Oh, cool, ships. So the Thunaman, this is our all-in-one solution for any small challenge. Hand, modest, handy, and trusted, just like the pocket knife your grandfather gave you, plus the rust. So current value is 15,000, so I guess that's what we could sell it for. So this is probably, this looks like it has more space, which is cool. That looks like a nice pirate ship. Pyrananano. Pyrananano. So it's a nano pirate ship. Pyrananano. Oh, Pyrananano. Trying to speak, words are difficult. There we go. Enhanced bullying in the jelly talks. This is for people, so it's cool. They each have like a different kind of uh, what's it called? Different kind of focus. So this is like cargo. This is people. The Sharkalon. That's we're attacking. Stingrays are shiny pride for. So this is the best ship. Or no, it's not. This is not as expensive as the shark alarm. So this is for passengers as well. So I'm not gonna get a new ship right now. I can we can name our ship. Ooh. Uh you have to delete. Enter your new ship name. Uh the tug. Because we're just a tugboat. Outstanding. We'll just be. There we go, that's cool. Whoops, I didn't set it. A bright red lining. Ah, oh, I keep forgetting to set it. I have to set. There we go, accept. And the detail will be black. So that's cool. So we have the white, red, black action going on. That's pretty neat. And style of crew uniforms. Do some kind of camo. Look at this snack of the day. Drink pink. 199. Let's match our ship a little better. We'll do that one. Cool. You can move around by clicking and dragging the mouse and stuff. So we have cargo snacks. We have our. I guess they get down through there. We have room for more cargoes. Or we could put the research station down there. So let's see what else we want to do. Um. I'm gonna spend all the money probably. Before I get weapons or research, let me do this. Missions. There we go. Promise rewards, but also demand a penalty on failure, so be prepared. For combat missions, weapon room and ammunition are required. Delivery missions require cargo. And cargo and cabin missions require or passenger missions require the cabin. So what do we want? Time limit, 2,500 credits. So 15 days, I think. Estimated difficulty is two. So I think I do want the gun. A robot dance school is an introduction in Cataport. So what is my, my mission? Oh, I need to hire a pilot. So I did this stuff, maybe it'll give me, it'll give me things. So I have the pilot, we have our map. So this is the rings you can research. Solar system has three rims, the middle outer to be unlocked, and we have our galaxy map. Wow, that's a lot. I wonder, hmm. I guess there's like hidden. You can see kind of the shape in the research room. So we have to hire our crew here. So we need a pilot, that's a cook, a cleaner, a repair pilot, oh, two pilots. 
medic and another cook. So her preferences are meat. She has a level one skill. Grew up without a proper name. That's sad. Look at the space dog. Ah! He uses dreams as her favorite place to fart. That's very polite. And likes surprisingly kinky piercings made of wood. That is an interesting combination. So this is how much they cost. Whoa. You do mail. Ha, <laughs> thanks. So I hired them, I guess, by clicking on the money. So we have a long way to go. I guess we start optimizing our finances. I've seduced the Bolton Porge database to assign us an easy delivery mission. So a local overlord donates a piece of his art collection as a stage prop for a movie. Some smuggler guy, frozen in carbon, carbonite, aka Han Solo. The cargo will be transferred directly onto his ship, deliver it to the Halamoo Studios in Swine. The reward is an exceptional $10,000. So I will accept so we can check the node for the mission details and select our destination. So I've hired... Uh, I guess that other pilot. This one was... They're also level 1. He likes leaves. I don't know what those preferences mean. Maybe in the node it will tell you. Wants to make the universe a brighter place. Gives gym bags to poor kids. Okay, I'm glad I didn't hire him. Oh, here we go. Your crew can consist up to eight members. A portrait should display the current morale, health, and need levels, like food. You can rearrange your people's positions in the crew bar by dragging their portraits. Cool. So here we are. So you can fire them. There's their level. This is the best job ever. Salary is 22 per day, I guess. Oh, and this is their thing. So morale effects. Shore leave, 0.5. So it's going up. They're very happy. They're very healthy. And their need for sleep, food, and the bathroom is increasing. Very tasteful picture right there. Toilet, hunger, and fatigue. Cool, so I guess they could probably get... So your preferences. Prefers protein-based meals. There is a, There is an achievement where it says... I think it has, um, what's it called? You have all eight crew members with the same preference, that share a preference. And I think it said in the tutorial, like, the higher level they get, the more uh, their preferences go up. So that's neat. I gotta, I should turn down the, uh, the sound a little bit. There's a bit too much of uh, noise in the menu. Oh, so that's where you drag their portrait on. So you can drag them around to do stuff. Doesn't really follow the mouse. That's weird. Ah. And so tasks. Oh, we can assign them shifts. That's cool. Use your time for satisfying their needs. Increase work efficiency by assigning all four shifts to multiple crew members with mutual skills. So I want there to be four piloting. But if I do that, she'll get sick and unhappy. So I want to, like, I can alternate with crews, or I can do two, and then leisure time. She can sleep and stuff. And in battle, she's my pilot. So I guess you can have, like, a primary pilot, or two pilots for shifts. And then in battle, you have your best pilot. So there's our finances. It's going down. We're at normal speed right now. Our mission is to go to Swine, so let's look on our map. So here we are, Swine. Planetary Traits. So these are their traits which define their imported and exported goods. And the range of missions and their job applicants. And travel time changes depending on current planetary constellations. So this is neat. So we're going to orbit and intercept them here. So this, this accounts for all the orbits and stuff. That's pretty cool. Can we rotate the view now? So this is very... That's a nice little transfer. That's cool. That is actually really neat little transfer orbit they do. Like how you would do it in reality. Or how they do do it in reality. So travel would take five days with my amazing pilot. And what do they import? Wine and paper, and we sell paper. They do wood production, so we could transfer wood back and forth. 
I don't know what their prices are, but they import it and they sell it here. So we could buy some paper and stuff. So let's do this. Let's go buy paper. How much can I get? 5,000. It's red. No cargo to sell. Oh, I have a total of 18 cargo holds. Okay. And I have to leave one open for my special mission. That's what makes sense. That's a voice right there. So I can spend 5,000 on this. And I will get some paper. Oh, let me look. Let me look. It's, does Swine have a... Do they have they have a shipyard? That's good. So I can buy stuff when I get there. So hopefully we don't get uh, attacked in our little tutorial mission because I am going to not buy a gun right now. So buy paper. So we're full up. In our cargo hold. And let's go to the ship and see if we can get that science bay still. Although we don't have a scientist to use it though. We could lab 3100. Oh, and the sci I could build the scientist guy, totally. Just get to research right away, get torpedoes and stuff. Or should I just get weapons? Hopefully. Hmm. This is 3100, and I need to hire a scientist, and this is 4100, and I need to use my. I hire someone to shoot. So what do we have here to hire? So we have a cook, a cleaner, a repairer, a pilot, and a medic, and another cook. Or we could use scout. At the bottom of the list, it searches for a specific profile for extra costs. Skill points left. So I want, oh, you can choose someone with multiple skills and all sorts of stuff, that's cool. So I just want a shooter, or do I want a researcher? Or both. I want both, but I don't have the money for both. When I get there, I should have enough for both. So in the in the in the this guy's getting a robot dude's getting angry, and he left, and he's back. Oh gosh! So I'm gonna post a job offer for a shooter. Searching. So we have a shooter. Ooh, a level three. That's way too expensive. Um, a hacker, cleaner, cook. I wanted level one, right? That's what I searched for. I can't afford that. So I guess that's why they're more expensive when it says with the scout. So I'm gonna go without a shooter here. And I'll just save my money then, because if I don't have a shooter, I can't really use the guns. So well, let's go. Let's go out and do this. How do I leave the dock? I just go click on it. I have my paper and my mission. Go into sworn. Travel! Five days. We're in space! And the pilot came with. Which is good. Godzilla! The cocktail bot at the station malfunctioned and started flooding free drinks. Outstanding. Rihanna Simon got terribly wasted and damaged some rooms after returning to the ship. Happy hangover. Your crew can get sick, which is more likely on a dirty ship. Be sure to have medical installments on board. So I don't have a meta bay. So she's not gonna be working. She just runs to sleep. So our bathroom is in bad condition. We have a full up cargo load here, which is nice. They have these cool little things. So she is sick and sleeping. I don't have a med bay. Yeah, she's supposed to be working right now, but she's not because she's sick. So that's fine. Get rid of that. So five days and let's click fast forward. Time can be accelerated if necessary. That time flows much slower while you're on a station. During space fights and catapult tr catapults travels. <laughs> I don't even know what a catapult is yet. You can't change the, the flow of time. While traveling your ETA can vary if your pilot gets sick or your ship... Oops. How does it feel your first time in space as captain commanding a ship? It's cool, it is. There's a lot to discover. So take your time and look around for now. It is important to learn how to deploy your crew and satisfy their needs. Keep an eye on the condition of your ship and rooms. Yes, our toilet's already broken. And he says, I'll get back to you once we've arrived at our destination. If your, your ETA can vary, 
your pilot gets sick or your pilot setup changes. So she's still sick. She's just so she's changing beds and stuff. So her health is going back up. So our ETA should drop once she's healthy again. Oh, they started this over. Okay. So let's see if we can wait. She's resting. Her health is maxed out. Still says she's sick though. It's not her fault. So let's see if we can see this like jump. So one day passed and I had to She is unhappy. Let's see if she'll get better in her trip. Using the bathroom. Need to get that free Wi-Fi. She's passed out again. We got our snacks and everything. Well, I'm gonna take a break here. That was cool. We got into space. Into the tug. Nice. I like the colors too. Good little starter ship. This is really cool. We have one crew member and things are neat already. Traveling through space. To save the galaxy. That's what they said anyway. Well, I'm not sure how that's gonna happen. Planets and stuff out there. Oh, can we look at the map? We're right there. That's neat. That's really neat. Cata oh, the cataports travel between. Cool. All right, I'm gonna take a break, and in the next episode we'll come back. We'll be in space. We'll speed up. Oh, she's better. Did my ETA change a whole bunch? I don't remember. Well, I will take a break, and in the next episode we'll come back. We'll land at Swine and sell our cargo and do all sorts of good stuff. Look at her just slapping away at the keyboard. That's a, that's a skill one pilot right there. Come on AI robot. Do something. Oh man. This game appears to be outstandingly fun. Well I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.